Eastern black rhinos are incredible animals. Individual rhinos are incredibly tough, but populations of this species are fragile. There are five different species of rhinoceros. White rhinos, black rhinos, Sumatran rhinos, greater one-horned rhinos, and Javan rhinos. All white rhinos have a wide upper lip that helps them graze in the grass. They are also social species, meaning they tend to travel and live in groups. All black rhinos, on the other hand, have a prehensile upper lip for grabbing leaves off of branches. They are solitary species, meaning they typically live on their own and only come together to breed. Despite their names, all white rhinos and black rhinos are the same gray color in appearance. Here at Lincoln Park Zoo, we care for a critically endangered subspecies of black rhinoceros, eastern black rhinos. Although they are not the biggest or the tallest mammals on the African savanna, eastern black rhinoceros are imposing animals, weighing anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 pounds, which is extra impressive because they are vegetarians. These rhinos eat leafy plants, branches, shoots, and fruits. At times, a rhino's skin may be covered in mud. Rhinos wallow in the mud to cover their skin and protect it from the sun and insects. A rhino's skin is also about two inches thick, which helps protect them from branches and thorns they might brush up against while foraging for food. Most notably though, black rhinos have two impressive horns that grow on their heads. These horns continue to grow over time and are made up of keratin, the same protein that is found in our fingernails and hair. Occasionally, rhinos may rub their horns on a tree or a rock. Just like we have to cut our hair, this behavior helps rhinos keep their horns trimmed. Unfortunately, these horns make rhinos vulnerable to poaching. Due to worldwide demand for rhino horn, including the United States, illegal trade of rhino horns has soared, making poaching the greatest threat facing rhinos today. In the last decade alone, the world has lost an estimated 9,000 rhinos to poaching. Today, there are only about 5,000 eastern black rhinos left in the wild. Here at Lincoln Park Zoo, we have worked closely with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to help protect rhinos. As part of their voluntary health exams, the rhinos have been trained to have portions of their horns trimmed, much like cutting your fingernails. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is able to use these small pieces of trimmed horn to train their canine unit to detect illegally poached rhino horns at airports across the globe, helping to remove these horns from the market. Lincoln Park Zoo is committed to protecting rhinos and ending the illegal wildlife trade. Together with other Association of Zoos and Aquariums accredited institutions and the Wildlife Trafficking Alliance, we are working to reduce the purchase and sale of illegal wildlife and wildlife products by raising awareness and decreasing consumer demand. You can help rhinos and other species by asking for the origin of any animal product you are buying, especially if the item looks to be ivory, turtle shell, or bone, or if it includes fur, feathers, or wool.